So who am I speaking with? Hi, I'm Brian Spencer from Qualcomm Innovation Center, and I'm going to talk about all joint technology, peer-to-peer -peer interaction. So we've got a couple demos here, but the one that I'm going to show you is called Pac-Man Race Car by Namco. Uh, what it's doing is it's using all joint to handle this multiplayer experience. So I already have a game established here. I'm going to go ahead and resume it, um, and you'll see it's go ahead and, and start up here with both devices, um, and we can play this multiplayer uh, interaction all locally through uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Um, so now the game's playing, you can see here, you know, we're right here neck and neck on the screen, one's crossing the finish line, and it's creating that experience without any latency of going through uh, a network. It's all local proximity, talking to each other, device-to-device -device communication. So I don't need any network whatsoever? No, you, have, you can have no service whatsoever. You connect up through Wi-Fi or through Bluetooth, and it provides that communication. And it's very easy for developers. It's completely open sourced, alljoin.org. You can go download the SDK and find do tons of documentation. Excellent. Thank you very much for showing me this. All right, here, I'm coming on over to you. What are you showing off right now? All right, well, this is uh, Leon Farsadi with uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon team. And uh, we're here in Android DEF CON uh, 2 uh, showing uh, a lot of cool technologies. But what I have here is uh, devices we call mobile development platform, right? So this is a Snapdragon MDP based on our uh, S3 chipset. And uh, this is a tool that's available. It's a development kit. It's available to developers. Uh, it gives them early access to our next generation chipsets and all the technologies that come with it. I showed you guys the mobile development platform, the Snapdragon MDP, uh, which has our latest and greatest chipset in it. Uh, this here is what we call the Dragon Board. And think of it as our MDP opened up on a board. Um, so it has the same chipset in it, but the beauty of this is that it allows you uh, to take out, say, um, this is a sensor card, for example, you can remove this and plug in a different sensor. So uh, if you're trying to enable a different component, like a different display, different camera, uh, working with our chipset, this is the right platform. And I'm here showing one of those technologies that we're working on, and we're using this platform to develop it. Uh, it's the idea of uh, 3D conversion. So you can take any content. Um, in this case, this is an OpenGL game. Uh, running on Android, and you can do a conversion, live instant conversion from you know the standard game to stereoscopic 3D. So if you look at this game right now, this is running on the TV. Uh, it's a it's a console quality game, really high quality. And what I can do is I can enable that feature to turn it into 3D in real time. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my glasses. So we're going to now see the, uh, the augmented reality. Um, so what augmented reality is taking the device and using its camera to superimpose something on the physical world that doesn't exist. So we've got this target here, and as I pick it up, you can see I can go ahead and move the board and move all around. So this is a billiards game. Move the board around, look at my shot, and if you can see here on the video, I've completely changed the orientation just by moving this target. Um, so let's go ahead here and show you Inch High Stuntman. And now I have this whole new user experience. And you can really see using the camera and all the stuff in the background as I move this, I can create the experience. Now I can go ahead and interact with these and move these objects. So I can drag this over here. I can put this right here. And then I can make my guy and I can send him off. And if he goes through, then I win. These are ways uh, through Qualcomm um, developer portal, uh, QDevNet, developer.qualcomm.com, that you can download these SDKs, the augmented reality, um, the all join SDK. You can find tons of information and really try to get help as a developer to write some innovative, quality, solid applications.